Don't get upset at me getting uh, my name's on it. The, the, the lady in the green jumpsuit, that's my Angela. And um, we, we share in some of the leadership here. Uh, it doesn't matter if you don't remember my name. It's not important, actually. Um, it's just that we, I said to some of the girls earlier, we do have a competition. You could win a bar of chocolate. It's called Spot the Vicar. Because very few of us look like one. And uh, basically, listen, I'm just going to try and share a bit of what's going on today, like Duncan has, about Steve. Now, this service is a bit like my little kids. I'm very old kid. Stingray. Remember Stingray? Anything can happen in the next half hour. So the trick is, the trick is, don't watch the red bits. You watch the white bits, it leaves behind. Okay? All right. Well, yeah, you can have a go at best. Um, so, look, I've got, I've got two words up here, three letters each. Anybody want to start shouting letters? No? 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 B. All right. Yes. Now oh, we got two eyes. <laughs> now then. Hey, none of this is scripted, you know. All right. It's a G. All right. Okay. We'll have a G then. Okay, you the white bits. So it should spell big. Big, yeah? Hey, come on, guys, give me an old year or I'm beginning to feel like an idiot. I am an idiot, but I'm beginning to feel that one now. Right. Okay, so we know this one's an I, don't we? All right, well, I'll tell you what then. I'll give you a help out. Because today is about the big dip. It's about the big dip. And the big dip is, is when we put steam now in the baptism. And as Duncan's explained, basically what's going to happen is the, the water represents Jesus' death. Okay. Steam will go into the water. He will, in fact, go right into it more. Okay. So, all right. Okay. Well, it's just big dip. Okay. So steam will go into the water, into Jesus' death, that's the picture, into Jesus' death. And then because we know Jesus was raised from the dead, because we know Jesus is, is raised from the dead, steam will come out into his resurrection. That's the picture, okay? So that's what the big dip is about. But actually, <clears throat> um, what's happening with steam and, and what can happen with any of us today is, that, that the big dip, that represents a Jesus life. It represents the Jesus life. And we want to say some very simple things. I'm going to fill the letters in. I know Angela wants me to shout out for the kids, but I'm just, I'm just aware of time. Okay, so. Okay, so it's... Shout them out. Okay, so somebody shouted out the word story. I wish I had a bottle of chocolate for you, but... And it's story formed. Okay, the... This life that we're going into is story form. Let me explain what I mean by using the board. Now then, Steve, you've covered this already in the song, aren't you, sir? In the beginning, before there was a time to be once upon, the Lord God made the heavens and the... Brilliant! Right? And he made us as human beings in his image to be his partners. The only problem was that 
we got ourselves into this thing where, in the words of one of my favorite writers, Duncan, John Le Carre, we believed the big lie. The big lie was not to be God-like as his partners, but we'll be our own piggy God. We thought that would be a really good idea, so we decided we would be our own God, and when we did that, we walked out on the partnership God made us for, and as a result, we built a great big red wall. And as you can see, that red wall is now between heaven and, right? And the Bible calls it the red wall of sin. Okay, now sin is not just stuff we do. Sin is just the fact that we've born into this disconnected relationship between us and God. That's where it, this is the story that Stephen's stepping into. Okay, the big story. And in the big story, okay, in the big story, Baptism is about getting in and staying in. Because before the world began, Stephen and everybody here was in the eternal Father heart of God. You might not believe that, but it's true. He knew us and he loved us before everything began. That might not go down well with the fellas, but the King of Heaven actually felt that way about us. That's how he rates us. And, and this father heart of God doesn't want to leave this big separation here. And so he launches a rescue mission in Jesus. Okay, the Son of God. You remember it now? We're all the way back to school now, aren't we? Father, Son, and brilliant. You guys know your stuff. Oops. <laughs> Holy Spirit. Sorry, I'll just I'll just trip over my bird. None of this is none of this is in the script, you know. She's doing this now. Is it leaking? Sounds like me then, don't it? Now then, you see, so listen now, and we all know, we all know that this rescue mission through the Holy Spirit continues. Through the first Christians, a hey, wait, right down to our generation. You are going to get into the ride of life this morning. Because this is like them big dippers at the fair. Once Stephen gets on this ride, he can't get off it until the end. And God is going to keep him. That God you just told me about, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is going to keep his life right the way through. Now then, in this story formed life, we know that it is about creation and about recreation. All of us in this room this morning, wherever you are in your journey with God or not, we all know something's wrong with this world, don't we? In fact, some of us think there's a lot wrong with it. We won't mention any particular names this morning, but that there's a lot wrong with it. And, and because we have walked out on our partnership with God, Sometimes we feel life isn't as it's meant to be. It's not supposed to be like this. And the big story, the God, God's big story says that what's happened to us having walked out is we've literally lost the plot. We were made to fit with our Creator in His tremendous partnership with Him and we've lost the plot. But like Stephen, people who are called back into the Jesus life are now part of Jesus' rescue mission, right? To work with God to make everything as it was in the beginning where it was all perfect. And one day when that story comes to an end, there will be a lot of no mores. Now ladies and gentlemen, you'll be very happy about these no mores. There will be no more suffering. No more cancer, no more pain, no more sorrow, no more death, no, no more sinning. It'll be, everything will be, God will remake it as it was in the beginning, and he invites us into that new form. So this is a story formed life, and we stepped into it. And actually, because it's about people, it's about God's people, God is inviting Stephen this morning 
to step into that story in a new way. And he is calling for anyone who is listening right now to step into this story in a new way. To have your past wiped clean and to be offered a new future. So the life is story form. We are part of the solution. And today Stephen is saying yes to the story. He's joining the story. But here's the thing. If you are listening to me right now, you may even somewhere in deep inside where no one else but you can hear, be hearing the call of God to say, you too can join the story. So we story form, okay? And then, well, this won't come as a big surprise, will it? Okay, so we're story form. Can you read it, guys? Yes, we are Jesus shared. That's absolutely brilliant. Have I? All right. Well done. My wife just pointed out my aim is upside down. There's always one out there. Do you know what I mean? Listen, what? It's called Mrs. Bridges from the building. She did some wrong that was good, you know what I mean? And listen, we are Jesus shaped. Now now about no every why do Christians rant on about Jesus? I'll tell you why. Because the God we worship is Jesus shaped. And Jesus is God shaped. That's why we go on about. If you want to know what God is like, if you want to know how God feels about you this morning. Look at the life of Jesus and listen to him when he calls ordinary people, some of whom were messed up, some of whom were quite decent actually, but have lost the plot to gather around him. This is the great story of God, and Jesus is a huge part of it. And Jesus is showing us God's heart. And what is going to happen now is. When Stephen goes into this baptism, Jesus is calling Stephen to say goodbye to his old life of selfishness and self-centeredness. And, and he's going to come out from the water, stepping into Jesus' life of self-giving other people regarding love. That's how this works, okay? And so, this life, this life means... Stephen and anybody who steps into Jesus, our past is white clean. Whatever it is, we've all got a past, don't we? Some of us, our past is a bit more sketchy than others. That's not the issue. We've all got one and it can be white clean and Stephen's going to step into a brand new future. But it's going to be a Jesus-shaped future. And lastly, I'll try and remember me please this down, so I okay. I will get it right this time. Yeah, it's all his spirit power. See, so the story form is Jesus shaped his spirit. Why does it have to be spirit powered? Well, if anybody has managed to hear Uncle Arnett singing this morning, you know about now that I can't sing like Bono or even Ed Sheeran. And I can't write like Shakespeare, or even George or Moyes come to that. That's not the issue. What if the abilities of Bono and Ed Sheeran and Shakespeare and George, what if their abilities and talents came to live in me? Then I'd have a shot, wouldn't I? And this is what Stephen's body is going to represent when he goes down into the water and he's all that he comes up. He comes up into a life where God's life is going to come and live in him. It's been living in him already, but it's going to come and live in him through the Holy Spirit. Why? So we can live the life we're called into. 
we all know what it is to want to be something more than what we are. And so this morning, the Holy Spirit is going to come. Jesus' life in my life. He's going to give us a new moral power. He's going to bring us new gifts to share God's benefit with other people. This is connection to the Jesus life. The life that made the universe and in Jesus' resurrection destroys death and evil. God's life in our life. And so this morning, God is offering all of this life to anybody who is here today, to anybody who is feeling called towards Him. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You get on this big dipper and God will keep you to the end of this life. About now, because you're all quite clever, aren't you? You're working out. How does he know all this is true? Alright? I'll show you. Because Jesus and God, they didn't just talk about death. They did something about death. They did something about it. Jesus broke through that wall of separation between us and God. That wall of sin and death. And so today, listen, Stephen has answered this invitation, but Jesus has this invitation for people who are listening. They got it right this time. He wants you to come and to step into the adventure of life with him. Now we're not pretending it's easy. It will have its ups and downs, but listen. You didn't want it. You didn't want a soft ride anyway, did you? No, nobody wants anything less than an adventure. And this morning, Jesus Christ, as you watch what happens with Stephen and anyone else who might want to get baptized on, on the road this morning, you will hear and see God's offer to step into his life in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, we're going to go ahead and sit down. Thanks, Anna. Well, that's made this morning a little bit clearer for me. Now, it's time for the big man himself. Come on, baby. Stephen. Yeah, let's put him up. Let's give him a massive round of applause. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stephen's just going to share a bit about his journey so far. Get comfortable. Um, I'd just like to talk about how I ended up here. Uh, an